What are your memories of Gordon? What stands out for you? Well, it's a really personal one, actually. As a, a Plymobian born and bred, uh, in 2001, I did work experience at BBC Radio Devon. You can imagine how nervous I was yeah. walking into Broadcasting House for the first time. Gordon's warm smile calmed down a very shy, awkward teenager. And that week... I think actually changed my life, if I'm honest with you. He was, the, he was a Plymouth reporter at the time. He helped me understand how he made packages for Radio Devon. Um, and we travelled around the city. Obviously, he knew everyone and everywhere to go. Um, and, you know, showed me the ropes. So the studios, I got to press buttons, didn't break anything. <laughs> um, and uh, I just had so much fun over that week. And I, he changed my career plans. I'll tell you why. Because at that time, I was a teenager, I wanted to be on the radio playing music having fun, but he told me he could do so much more in between the music. Mm. And I know he loved his music. That was really clear every time I listened to him on the radio. Um, and um, nine years later, I realised that dream and joined the BBC myself. And he was so chuffed by that. And I saw him a few years later at a Plymouth Town reunion. Um, and, I, you know, I, it's just really sad because, as, as you've heard this morning, um, he, he is a Devon legend and uh, he will be missed by so many people. Absolutely. Well, Simon, being the other side of it as well, like when you became an MP and then were interviewed by Gordon, how did that feel? Really weird, if I'm honest <laughs> with you, Angela. Really, really strange. Because, you know, he, as uh, I think you and put it a few moments ago, your political reporter, he had, the, he had the, uh, the knack of, at the very end of the interview, just asking you something that was completely left field. <laughs> and you'd be thinking, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure where this is going, but I'm really quite concerned. But I'll, I'll answer it the best I can. And there was one really tough interview he gave me um, during the pandemic uh, about some of the restrictions and some of the difficulties we had between children going to school but not, not being able to see older, older people in care homes. And you could tell the raw emotion and passion in his voice because he'd spoken to listeners about that quandary, about those concerns. And he just knew the temperature of how people were thinking about certain issues.